Hello everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. So today we're going to be unboxing Kanagawa from ILO Games and from designers Bruno Cathala and Charles Chavalier. Um, so you may know Bruno Cathala from other amazing games such as Five Tribes and a whole host of other things. He's a, he's a very busy designer. Um, and this game, from what I know, is about painting. Now, part of the fun of these unboxings is I don't know what's in the box, um, so you're probably not going to get a whole bunch of information, but you will get a big eyeful of what this game is all about. So first things first, the box itself. It's made of cardboard, it is not a particularly fancy box. The artwork of course is gorgeous. You know, it's a game about painting, you kind of expect that. It's for two to four players, for ages 10 plus, and it's supposed to take about 45 minutes to play. So, let's see what's actually on the back of the box. Got that a very pretty cover, isn't it? Um, on the side note, quite literally a side note, it's beautiful on the side. Okay, so let's flip her over, see what we get. So, just telling us a little bit about the game. So it's a strategic and poetic card game in which you must paint the most beautiful print. Yeah, that's what I kind of assumed. Seems like pots, you'll have your own little board. Very, very nice, and it lists all of the contents. Cool. All right, that's enough for that. What's actually in this box? Whoop. Okay, so, a rule book, okay. Let's see, how big is the rule book? Oh, that's not too big. It's an interesting size. Um, it's the size of the small box, so that means it's quite easy to read. It is a little, it's that shiny kind of waxy paper, but it's nice. It doesn't crinkle under your fingers. So we have the overview of the game. Look how nicely this is all laid out. So there's all our components. The goal, I like it's put together. We've got lots of illustrations, plenty of colours and things. Uh, what else? Oh, more pink pictures, so more descriptions. I like how this is put together. This is very, very pretty. So finally we're at the gameplay section. You prefer to put it into practice, you want to broaden your knowledge. Okay, just different headings, lots and lots of examples. Um, and then Morgan, a new lesson. Okay. And then explains all of the diploma tiles, which is always nice. You definitely want to see that in a rule book. And then end of game and scoring is all here in one nice, easy place. So that's pretty cool. And anything on the back of it? Yay, reminder of the different effects. Okay, that's pretty good. There's a structure of a round as well. So I, I love the a good back of rule book. So it's quite a, a cute and like easy to understand, I'd say, rule book. It looks pretty straightforward. All right, now we're into the cardboard. So there are cardboard boards. There's only actually three. It, look, it looked or felt like more than one felt like two. Um, they're nice and thick. Obviously, we're going to be popping our um, things out of them. So let's have a go. Oh, I broke my rule. I always do it from the back. <laughs> I'm convinced that you kind of rip things less. Um, they're nice, sturdy cardboard. They feel nice. Um, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a brown colour. A little bit ick, right? Because these are all beautiful and colourly. Look at that. So yeah, they're nice and sturdy tokens. Just rain tokens, curious. Ooh, and there's a lovely insert inside the box. Um, this is fantastic. Please tell me this is some sort of bamboo roll mat. Oh my God, I think it might be. All right, okay, okay, let's try. What's in it? Oh, oh my God. It is, it's a bamboo play mat. Oh my God. How did I not know this about this game? So as you can see, it seems to have the squares and things on it. It's it's very nicely made. So two player, three player, four player, different markers. Um, it's not the neatest painted. You can see there are gaps here where it's rolled, unless they're supposed to be part of it. Um, and some of the squares aren't completely finished, but I think that rough hewn kind of thing goes with the vibe of the game. I think that's really nice. Now my big issue, of course, is actually getting it back in there. <laughs> uh, I think it was this way, right? So let's see if it'll go back in. I suppose that's a test in and of itself, right? still amazing to have a little bamboo mat like that in it. Yeah, there we go. Cha-ching. Okay, so obviously these are like our paint pots from, from other photos I've seen of this game. Oh wow, these are really deluxe. So we'll have a good look at them there. Um, the wood, like I, I want to say it's wood. I wouldn't be surprised if it was plastic, but no, it's wood. They're beautiful wooden pieces. They're lovely and smooth. They're very, very pretty. There's very impressive stuff to actually have in this our little game box. The insert is also something else, isn't it? I wonder how much smaller this game would have been without this insert. But at least the, at least the box is small. And then in here we have, ooh, 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 giant token. Ha ha. I'm so bad at aiming at the camera. Look at me, not aim good. There we go. 
they're beautiful. This is another beautiful wooden piece, and there's like a miniature version of it. So I assume that's like the first player marker, something like that. Excellent. And then there's only one last thing left in the box, and this is some cards. Now, does this card have the strippy thing? Oh, oh. It's got this strippy thing. Where's the bit where you start it? But there seems to be no bit where you start it. Oh wait, maybe it's here. It's okay. I think we'll just have to resort to like using the scissors. Are my nails actually working today? Okay, they're, they're not so well wrapped that I could not find my way into them. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm gonna have a look at the backs first. So there are brown ones. So, so with like a geisha, a stag. Oop. These feel lovely by the way, they're super slippy and nice. So a building. And then the green ones. Or a tree. Makes sense. So obviously these all match particular things, but they look like on the other side. So these are all got like sunshine elements and things on them perhaps. Obviously these are the things you're gonna fill out your painting with. The symbols mean absolutely nothing to me as of yet, but they seem to be at different seasons because there's some cherry blossoms. Wind, uh, wind, rain, fall, I'm gonna make a guess. There's some nice building ones. They're very pretty, aren't they? I think they're very, very nice. The card quality is absolutely lovely as well. So it's all of that to get through. So now, and of course it all goes neatly back into the box. Do you always appreciate when things fit back where you found them? Laughing at you, Gloomhaven. So that was Kanagawa. Not to be confused with the Magic the Gathering set called Kamagawa. Um, and wow, I, God, it's very elegant looking. There's something um, something very nice about the way it's all put together, how kind of gentle or something it is. I don't know. Definitely is super appealing. I can't wait to get my mitts into it. Um, so you've been watching Board Game Inquisition. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did, why not like or subscribe to the channel? Because, you know, that's what people do when they like things, right? You want to see more of them. And hopefully you'll join me for another unboxing again soon. And until next time, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.